Hi, everyone. I've been working in the search industry for 10 years now, and there is something nobody is talking about. Google can't see and index every valuable page existing on the web. Far from it. If you look at how Google got through websites, you will discover something incredible. On average, Google ignores 35% of e-commerce website pages. Travel, 45%. Classified, it's even worse. 55% of pages are ignored. And the problem is, when a page is ignored by Google, it can't drive traffic and therefore any revenue. My name is Adrian Minar. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Botify. Botify is the first solution that gives digital marketers the power to control how Google understands their websites. Botify is based on advanced web crawling and log files analyzing technologies. Let me explain how it works. We're going to take an example with fashionshop.com. Fashionshop is a large e-commerce website with tens of thousands of product pages. Let's see how they can use Botify to leverage the full potential. So the Botify crawler is going to capture the entire website. It usually represents millions of pages, billions of links, and hundreds of indicators per page. We store all this information in the Botify database, but we still don't know pages ignored by Google. How can we do that? When Google goes through a website, it leaves traces on the web server log files. We're going to use this information to determine if a page is crawled or not crawled. We're simply comparing what we have seen with the Botify crawler with what Google discovered on the website. Our user trusts Botify to identify content ignored, to decide, to, sorry, to understand why pages are ignored, to decide changes and to monitor the results because it works. When our customers optimize the way Google understands the website, they increase traffic by 35% in less than six months. Let's switch to the demo. Starting an analysis with Spotify is as simple as filling this form. Second step, once ready, our users access this this interactive report. You can see that Botify captures more than 4 million pages in the structure. Each section is organized to answer a point of interest for SEO professional. In this demo, we're going to focus on the way Google sees this website. Let's go to the search engine tab. Bad news, 40% of the pages in this website are crawled by Google. 60% of pages are ignored. Each graph in this tab is here to help our users to understand why. Can you pick one chart? Thank you. Okay, this chart is, is here to see if there is a correlation between the depth of a content and the crawling activity. It means that when a content is too far from the home page, it's very unlikely to be crawled by Google. Can you list all the pages after level six that are ignored by Google? Okay, thank you. So more than 400,000 pages are ignored by Google. And some of them belong to the most strategic categories in this website, the product categories. Let's click on them. So more than 70,000 pages from the product category are ignored by Google. They represent missed opportunities and a huge potential to drive more traffic and revenue on the website. If I had more time, I would have been pleased to present you tens of other indicators we have in the platform, how you can filter the report or create your own queries. And if you are a developer or a data scientist, you can also use the Botify API to build your own advanced dashboard. Let's go back to the presentation. During the last six months, we have been working closely with more than 300 global customers in 30 countries. In the US alone, we have been working with Expedia, eBay, Airbnb, or Time. 
The goal was to refine and fine tune the product. That's why I'm very pleased to announce that Botify is now available to all businesses through a monthly SaaS subscription model. So if you want to get noticed by Google and drive more revenue on your website, go to Botify.com and get started. Thank you. All right, Botify, nice work. Thank you. Judges, is anyone going to recommend this to their portfolio companies? <laughs> well, I'm sure they'll all check it out. I, uh, so my biggest question is, I could see the immediate impact, you know, the first time you use it. Um, you know, understanding what the things that are, you know, that you can be doing to improve SEO and, and just improve the website overall. But how do you deliver value over time to justify kind of an ongoing subscription? Okay, this, this is a very good question. Um, actually, optimizing websites is a very iterative process. Large websites keep releasing new content, so it means that every day they want to control the performance of the new content they have published. Is it crawled by Google? Has it started to drive more traffic on the website and revenue? This is the kind of thing they're going to use every day. I see that, but you know, when my subscription comes up year two, I just think that the equation is a little bit different. You know, you're going to have had the most impact and the most value in that first probably 90-day period. Uh, I don't think so, because if we take an e-commerce website, for example, they have many important periods in the year, for example, before Christmas, when they want to optimize the website. So at the beginning, they will see a strong impact. But when they want to leverage the, um, the ACO, they will, they will keep uh, optimizing the website depending on the actualities on the website. So obviously you can only control, I mean one, you can do analytics as to whether or not Google is crawling something and you can make recommendations but you can't actually force Google to start paying attention and, uh, and Google decides ranking. So my question is, if Google isn't paying attention to certain pages, is it for the same reason that they might not rank high? Like maybe those pages are stale, or maybe they're too similar to other content on the site. Like, why are there pages on the site that Google decides is not worth paying attention to that will suddenly become important in the rankings once you do your work? Okay. So, um, what is important is that most of the websites are not very optimized in their architecture. So just working on that, you will drive Google to the pages you want to make them visit, first point. And the second point is, um, sorry, uh, is obviously that when they keep uh, adding content, you also want to push them that. So. This is my answer. But can't you submit all these pages to Google? I mean, Google has webmaster tools, right? Yeah. You could submit your index to Google, can't you? Yes, you can, but the um, popularity of a page is based on this internal linking. So providing um, the, um, providing a, um, sorry. Index. The, yes, the index is not a very good way to uh, make these pages popular. Okay, everything is based on the linking. That's why we are very obsessed about the internal building, the internal um, linking strategy, and this is the only way to make content more popular. Uh, I'm sure the technology works, uh, and you've got some nice results to show at 35%. Big question for me is why now? You know, it's, it's 2016, there's hundreds of tools to do page optimization, and we're in this era of mobile, and we're moving away from desktop search, and. So why is this a company to get involved with now? We think that trying to understand the behavior of, of Google on websites is not something new, obviously. And there were some agencies or uh, advanced professionals who have been doing that for years. And we have good examples because we have been in this industry for 10 years now. And we, we have done that for our customers. The difference is that, and this is what we bring on the market, is a SaaS solution with a seamless process. So now, any SEO professional can use this advanced methodology in a very simple way. And, and maybe a related question, um, sounds like you're getting great clients that are buying your solution, using your solution. What do you think is the key difference between what you're doing and Moz and Conductor and Bright Edge and 
kind of the, the set of predecessors that I think David was referring to. Is, is there some key innovation? Is it the fact that it's the link structure versus the content or the keywords or a, any insights there? The thing is that Botify is the only solution get, that captures the entire website and then make the bridge with the log files analysis. And when you analyze the log files, it's the only way to understand how search engines behave and understand the website. These other players don't do that. Any final questions? Okay. Yeah, I just, there doesn't seem to be a technical innovation here, but there's more of a experience or know-how where you guys have been in the space and you've decided to do that. Why have other people who have been in the space not decided to, I mean, it seems like a very simplistic thing to like put every page, ma make every page viewable. Like that's, that would be the first thing I would do if I were building SEO software, it seems. Yeah, I think that from the SEO professional perspective, it's pretty obvious that you want to leverage the content you have. But we are building this platform and we can tell you that we have faced uh, technical uh, challenges because when, when you call websites with millions or, or hundreds of millions of pages, you're going to compute billions of different indicators, li internal linking, content, um, uh, depth, performance delay, many things. And it is, it, I, actually I think it was not possible a few years ago, and thanks to the cloud-based or big data technologies, we can do this kind of thing. All right, let's give it up one more time for Botify.